Hi folks, uh, welcome to the channel here. Uh, I know I'm kicking out a lot of videos, but I'm trying to get videos for all the different collectors out there too, as well as plumbing and toilets and vintage electronics. But back to the starters here, I did a video a while back on this. It happened again. <laughs> a while ago I was making a video on that uh, transistor radio and one of the lights went out in my shop. My starters are all getting old and they're failing. So I thought I'd show you real quick. Now you saw the inside of the old one that was burnt up. This one didn't smoke, the light just went out and the ends were glowing on it. So I'm going to show you how you can check and see uh, if your starter is the problem and I can guarantee it. This one wasn't warm like the other one, but here's something you should never see. When that starter is out of that light, you should never have any kind of a reading across these terminals. And as you can see here, if I can do this one-handed here, it's hard to do, I'm touching the terminals. And you can see my needle, there, get, there we go, see that? There is current going through that now, and it should not. So let me try to get on there again, it's one-handed here. There we go, see that guys? You, that should not happen. When that starter is out, there should be no uh, reading across these terminals at all. And what's happened is, is the, either the glow switch, which was what it would look like inside, similar to that. Uh, either that glow switch, let's see if we can get light. Now that ain't going to work, but there's contacts in here. Sometimes those contacts and that glow switch can stick together, but 90% or more of the time, it's the condenser. This here. This is a brand new one. I'm going to take parts out of this and fix this one here. I'm going to pull that, con I'm going to pull that condenser out. Uh, but usually it's the condenser that shorts out, which condenser is a capacitor, you know, uh, just on a different scale. So, yeah, so that's that's a good way to check them. Again, you know, for you vintage light collectors out there, fluorescent lights and all, want to keep these old starters working, you can certainly do that. Uh, but you should never have a reading across there of any kind of current going through that starter. So if it is, it is definitely bad. And like I said, 90 to 95 percent of the time, it's that condenser that shorts. So, all right, folks, um, thanks for watching. Just wanted to touch base on that while it happened. <laughs>